Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday again. Here we are, we've made it to another Friday. Hopefully I'm in the right group. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, all right, we are, there we are. Oh yes, I always feel like things look a little crazy behind me. I try to make it clean, but that corner over there needs some work, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys have had a great week. We've had a good week here. Summer has returned. It's hotter than heck, unfortunately. Going to get close to 100 on Sunday. <sighs> but here we are with pumpkins <laughs> and Halloween things. So that's all right. That's how it goes down here in Texas. Good to see you guys. I'm glad you're jumping on. All right, good. So this week we are playing with the clever cats. I've had multiple people reach out to me and ask for projects with this set. I almost skipped over it and I'm really glad that I did it um, because it's really cute and funny. I don't have a cat. I had a cat when I was growing up, but I don't have one now. My daughter's allergic, so we've never had one, um, but they are funny. And this stamp set captures that. Um, that little fat cat trying to fit itself in the box. So all of you out there, my cat lovers, you're gonna like today's projects. I actually um, was trying to find something cat specific, Halloween, like a cat shaped brownie or something, I don't know. <laughs> I could not find anything. I did find one cat thing. You know, black cats are pretty I'm not synonymous with Halloween, so I don't know why we couldn't find them. Anyway, I did find something really cute. And as long as you put that cat with a pumpkin, then it can go with anything, any kind of treat, right? All right, so good, let's see. Oh, I see, I'm glad you guys are here, thank you. I'm glad you guys like them. My ears have been doing, suddenly every earring I wear irritates my ears, and so I can only wear them for a short time. I hate that, I don't know why that is, but these are ones that, that bother me, but I love them. Okay, let's run through a few things. Um, last week it was the first, right? So I told you about this month's um, all-star tutorial bundle. I'm not supposed to show you the whole project, but I just gave you a little sneak peek of it. The all-star tutorial, and it's gonna be backwards, this month features the Blackberry Bliss, um, Blackberry Beauty suite of products. Um, this is a gorgeous, um sweet the paper has been on back order it's on low inventory again um the embellishment kit i don't know if f, f ephemeria whatever that kit is called i don't know but you guys know it has all the little die cuts it's on un unordable um there's something else it's just so my point is it's super popular i love the paper but anyway so 12 projects in here um yeah <laughs> Karen, I thought you said hello, snow is falling in Iowa. That's what my brain read that I, I had to, did you see me whip my head around? Um, because it's really hot here. I, I don't think you guys have snow quite yet, do you? Surely not. Um, anyway, this is, we do these every month. Um, going back like about five years now, I was looking back to see how long, um, I actually was looking for a project that I had put in one of these like three or four years ago. Um, we are the original uh PDF program. There's a lot of people out there that do these now, but we were the first. I I promise we were the first. Um, but anyway, <laughs> you're trying to help me spell ephemera. Eph words are hard for me, I tell you guys. Words are hard for me during my life. <laughs> I just call it the embellishment kit. Um, anyway, you can get this for free with a $50 order um, with me online. Um, I don't think I've sent them out yet for the first week, so I will set that over here. Um, and do it today before I'm done working. Um, it's also in my PDF store. The thing I was gonna tell you about those, um, it's 12 projects all using that suite of products um, and it's 12 different designers. So I just designed one and the others are designed by other designers. And then they each have a link to a video. Um, so it has the supply list, the measurements and Imperial and metric. And then there's a, a video tutorial for each one, which is really nice. So anyway, that's that. And we did a blog hop yesterday. Was it yesterday? Feels like it was a long time ago. Maybe day before yesterday. And here's my card that went with it. So if you want some details, just hop back to that. Shannon, you can get the PDF in my PDF store. Go back to yesterday's blog post and uh, it's there, all the details. You get it free when you spend $50 with me or you can buy it for $15 in my PDF store. All right, I know I kind of, 
I always butcher that. I always stumble over that and get distracted and never fully tell you all the details. All right, my class to go for October is the sweet, there's a, you know, why do they come up with all these products that I can't pronounce? Sweet Cloche class, you guys taught me how to say it. It features the classic Cloche and Sweets and Treats stamp sets, along with the Shaker Domes, which everybody loves. Um, this class has seven cards. Um, and it's set up a little bit differently than my normal class. Let's see if I can get them all. I don't think I can get them in my hand. They have, some of them have the shakers. Some of them do not, right? Um, but the class kit comes to you and all the class kits include a package of those domes, the shaker domes, um, the, all the, the ribbon, a brand new uh, pack of those, the two ribbons that we use, um, and a pack of the subtle shimmer sequins. Then you can add on the bundle and or the second stamp set um, if you <laughs> if you need them. Um, and then I pay the shipping and tax on those. So you get them at catalog cost if you add them onto a class kit. Um, whoever just, I, I just saw that go by. That's why I am so bad about reading, um, reading and talking at the same time. Let me see who it was. Um, Jody, no big equipment, no floods today. Um, we had a giant flood on our street last week from the AT&T fiber install that's going on in our neighborhood. Um, and funny enough, those people, those workers, have not shown their faces <laughs> on my street since then. There has not been a worker, a truck, a vehicle, nothing. So, I don't know, I guess we scared them off. Um, yes, you do need the dies for that sweet cloche class. Um, you will need both stamp sets and the dies. I will die cut all the other things for you. Let's see what else is in here that's die cut. Not very much actually. Oh, so like this one, it has a border on it. I will die cut that border for you, but I'm not going to die cut any of the, the little cloche shakers. You'll need the dies for that. But um, if you will click, if you go to today's blog post, pinkbuckaroo.com, at the bottom of the blog post, there is a link to the page with all the details about that class. Um, it will ship at the end of the month. Um, I don't ship them. Like if you ordered it today, yours is going to ship with somebody who orders it next week. I wait until it's closed and then I cut and do all the work at one time and ship them all together at the end of the month. Um, and I believe the deadline on that is the 21st. Man, time is flying by 22nd. Uh, it feels like October just started, but I was already looking at, I need to send birthday cards for people next week and it's already the 15th, 16th and 17th at the end of the week. It's crazy, time is flying by. Okay, so now I need to talk to you about Club Create. Club Create is my subscription program. It's $39 a month. Every month it includes five projects and about $20 in product. Um, it includes a PDF and a video tutorial. Um, I am blessed to say that it has gotten so full that I can't take any more subscriptions right now. Um, now that could change because people cancel their subscriptions throughout the month. Um, so if I have the numbers come down a little bit, I will open up the subscription again for November um, if you're interested. October's kit deadline was yesterday, so that's already passed. Um, next month, I, I wanna tell all my Club Create members what is coming. I, I believe I told you in an email, but I'm gonna show you too. Um, it is the Whimsical Trees. November projects are the whimsical trees. This is the stamp set and the dies. So if you are in Club Create, that's what's coming. Um, I will send you another email in the next, well, when your this month's kit comes out. But anyway, if you wanna subscribe for November, right now you can't. And I probably will be able to open it up before the end, um, but it's just, the deal is, is that I am the one that cuts and sorts and packs and labels and does all that. I do it all myself. Um, and I don't want it to get so big that that I am screwing up a lot, <laughs> you know, because the higher the number goes, I feel like um, the quality might go down. 
honestly. So I've got to keep that number where I know that I can do a good job. And that's where we're at. We are at the ceiling of that number, um, which is a huge blessing. Um, but I, I also have to keep it real. And, and you know, I'm a human and <laughs> I can only do so much. And I want them to come to you, you know, good. I don't want them to be um, sloppy or um, because I, you know, I'm doing such a huge number. So that's why right now subscriptions are closed. Um, hopefully I will, op I will be able to have some spots freed up. Well, hopefully, I don't know if that's hopefully or not. If you want to subscribe, just keep watching and I'll, I'll let you know if I open it up again. Okay. There's that. Oh, the other thing is the PDF is, is available. If you want the PDF with the video link to all of these projects, it is already available in my PDF store and on the club create page. If you are wondering exactly what the deal is with club create, um, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says um, Club Create, and uh, you can click on that. And that'll take you and show you everything that we've done in the past, as well as the details that I just showed you. Jill, I just saw your comment go by. Let me see. Will we be able to re-up our subscription? Yes. If you're a subscriber, you don't have to worry about anything. Nothing. Um, you are in, and when your six months comes up, yes, you can continue, whatever. You can continue as long as you want. Um, I've just reached that top number and I can't add anymore. Does that make sense? I can't, I can't, I just can't get any higher. I think that makes sense, right? Hi Shelby, I'm glad you're here. All right, Karen, I'm glad it's not snowing. <laughs> there, it's too early for that. Uh, my husband even said we should go back to the lake this weekend because it's like summer. We thought we were done with the lake, but maybe not. All right, one last thing. Okay, let's see. If I show you this, I don't know how to change it without messing it up. Let's see. Mm, let's see. I don't know. I'm going to show you. Okay, maybe. Let's see. It's going to flip it mirror. Oh, that's so weird. Everything's backwards. But I want to show you this. Ready? Pink Buckaroo Holiday Retreat to Go. You guys have been asking. Um, and I have been spending the last two weeks designing, preparing, doing all of that. Um, I don't like to put it out for registration until I have everything designed and planned. Um, that's just how I do things. So if you want to register for the holiday retreat, I'm going to email that link Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. So make sure you've joined my email list. And then I will post it on my blog around noonish and on Facebook around noonish. Um, so if you... Let's see if I can flip that back. That's driving me crazy. That just seems so weird. So if you want to register for the retreat to go, I have upped my limit this year. Um, last year it sold out pretty quickly and a lot of people were upset that they missed it. So this year I'm upping it a little bit, um, but there is a cap, okay? So um, it'll be to go only. I'm not doing anything local this year. Um, it'll be to go only. It will ship right before Thanksgiving. And um, it will be a retreat in a box. You'll have pillow gifts. You'll have a ton of product. You'll have a bunch of projects. You'll have surprises. All right. So if you're interested in my retreat to go, set a reminder for Tuesday morning. Make sure you've joined my email list. And if it doesn't come in your email, in your inbox, don't worry. I'll post it on my blog and all that too. It's not going to fill up before I can post it. Um, but just want to give you guys a heads up Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Central. Okay. It is this year. It's, I don't know. Well, you guys know with all the product availability, it's scaring me to plan this far ahead. Um, but I think that I have everything planned and hopefully can get everything that I want. You know, for those of us who plan ahead of time, um, it, it can bite you in the butt. You know, it can be good because you're well prepared, but then you could get to the point where you need to order the stuff and it's not available. So I don't know, it's scary. Um, I am using the um, frosted, what's it called? It's at the front of the catalog. Frosted gingerbread, peppermint gingerbread. <laughs> oh, you guys put me on the spot. I can't remember names. Um, frosted, oh, I said it right the first time. The frosted gingerbread, all of this stuff. Okay, and I and my assistant Denise have been on the hunt for some cute things. It's hard to, to do Christmas projects 
right now because there are no Christmas candies, anything out there. Um, but that, that set has peppermints and they're so cute. Um, so anyway, details, I'll have sneak peeks next week. There will be two add-on classes. My add-on classes will also be available as standalone classes for those of you that just want the, those classes and don't get the retreat. That'll come later. But there is a stamp a stack um, with the Joyful Life. No, not Joyful Life. No, no. Um, be Jolly. That one. Be Jolly, the little Santas. There's Christmas cards class with that one. And then a Christmas treats class with a pillow box die. Uh, did I do six? Six different ways to use the pillow box die. So whew, I have the PDFs typed. I have everything ready to go. I have gotten it all done. All right, so it's coming, it's coming next week. All right, I need to get moving. Um, door prizes, if you share the video on Facebook or YouTube, I put you in a drawing and I pick names at random to win uh, prizes. This week it's Judy Cruz. Judy, I don't know if I said that right. Judy, I have, I have your mailing address, right? Unless you've moved. And Debbie Green, Debbie, I have yours too, unless you've moved. So I will get these in the mail for you guys next week. Thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate it. This week, I have the cutest stamp set on the face of the earth, Seasons of Fun. It's a, it's a host set or free when you spend $150. Um, so I have two of these to give away. So if you'd like to be entered to win those, all you have to do is share the video and let me know in the comments that you shared. Um, okay, if you have not joined me for Facebook Live before, I pick one product which, where did I put the stamps that I had it in my hand a minute ago? <laughs> oh, it was right here under my iPad. Um, so this week we're doing Clever Cats. Um, <laughs> hey, Mom. Pepper is at my mom's house today because Pepper has been naughty. And I thought she needed to get out of here for today so I could focus. Um, <laughs> anyway, Clever Cats is what we're doing today. Um, these projects, I will send them to you for free as a thank you if you put in an order that is $35 or more between now and Monday at midnight. There's a host code attached to this. This is like a class. Um, when I flip the camera over, you'll see the host code. You will also um, see it on the top of the PDF that's over at pinkbuckaroo.com and it's on the blog post, okay? So um, use the host code. It, you can order anything you want. I'm not, I don't even care. I don't even look to see what you order. I just see is so-and-so ordered, more than 35, host code, check. She's on the list. All right, so I will send you the projects for free next week. Um, but the cutoff for that is Monday at midnight, okay? Um, and this is what they look like when they come here. I always like to show you guys. You will need the stamp set today. Um, there's just the stamp set. So you'll need the Clever Cat, Cat Stamp um and and the inks and then everything else will be die cut for you i put it i put a tag in there as a thank you tag um i don't do any pre-stamping if you get these free in the mail you have to do your own stamping um and this week i'm not featuring any dies so i will do all the die cutting for you so, you know there's really not very much die cutting this week surprisingly okay let's flip it over and get started my first project is my favorite. We are starting with my favorite project. Let me get all set up. This is, um, this first project is one of those that I just dreamt up at night. Actually, I wasn't dreaming. I was just laying there, but it like popped in my head one night and I have been wanting to make this box. Um, and this, what I found today for this for this project is like the perfect thing for this box i think okay so let me see we are crooked so let me see if i straighten it out a little bit hold on there's an eight second delay so everybody just hold on i have to see did i turn it the right way i did okay good okay that's better and then let's move it back a little bit right there there you go so there's the host code if you want to put in an order this week all right, let's see. So Clever Cats is, is really cute. I mean, that cat trying to fit in that box, that's pretty funny. Those of you that have cats, I'm sure you love this stamp set. So I looked high and low. Like I said at the beginning, I looked high and low for cat things. Halloween specific, you know, cat things. Couldn't find anything. But I just so happened to be at Target last week and look what I found cat glasses aren't those so cute and so this box 
is like a, I don't know, it's like a, a sliding box. Look, see how that comes off? I don't know, I was pretty impressed with myself when I thought of that. <laughs> and of course, we've got some candy in there because it wouldn't be a Halloween project without candy. You know, these are fun little glasses. Probably you're giving these to a child and they're gonna be like, um, where's the candy? I like the glasses, but where's the candy? Okay, so let's do that. Um, let's start by making the box. Now, I have to give you guys fair warning. I always pre-record these for YouTube. Um, and yesterday, when I pre-recorded, it was like disaster after disaster after disaster after disaster. My phone kept shutting off. I kept cutting things wrong. So my <laughs> In the middle of one of my videos, my MacBook fell off my desk behind me and hit the hardwood floor. It has, It was just like... Like, I, I was like, okay, is it a full moon? I, you know, something is happening. So, fair warning, these these projects may be jinxed and we may be having some trouble today, but hopefully not because I have had to record them more than once and I should know them by now and hopefully we'll get it done. All right, so the first piece you need is basic black. And I want to tell you guys that over here on the PDF, this PDF is at pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo. Um, and usually I put the... Uh, measurements right under it but I didn't have enough room here so the cat glasses box measurement is over here on this side okay just to let you guys know all right so this piece is six and a half by eight and a half let's do the long side first one four five and eight and then turn it on the short side and score it at one and five and a half now I was showing my husband this box last night I don't know why, but he was like, I guess because I thought it was so cute. And he said, oh, so you just need to make the, the, other the, the other box just a tiny bit bigger, right? And I was like, wow, yeah, that's exactly what I did. So this piece is just going to, this box is just going to be an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. Um, so the basic gray piece is nine by six and a half. And this time we're going to do one and an eighth and then four and a fourth and then five and three eighths and eight and a half and then turn it and do one and five and a half right here okay Does that makes sense remember these don't feel like you have to write these all down they are over at my blog the pdf is free print it save it file it away whatever you want to do um so that you'll have it post-it notes get lost I don't know why I even keep post-it notes in my office because every time I write something on a post-it note, I lose it every time. Is that just me or is that you guys too? Okay, so on this side, we've got a skinny tab, half inch tab over here. And we're gonna cut off the two um, rectangles on either side. Mac has come in to watch. He's just staring at me. He, he's weird. He likes to just come and stare and see what's happening in here. Okay, here's the top and here's the bottom. We're gonna do the bottom like we would any other box. We're gonna cut these and on the small square tabs, um, cut um, the corners off. <laughs> you lose post-it notes too. You know, I love post-it notes and I love to buy them and I love them. I lose them, so I, you can't put anything important on a post-it note, unfortunately. Okay, so now we're not gonna cut this, these um, score lines at the top. Usually we would cut those just like we did these, but I want this to have a rounded edge. So I am just gonna put adhesive, and for the sake of the video, I'm just using my stamp and seal. And I'm just gonna fold that all the way down. Now it's gonna be kind of, you know, thick right here. So go back and burnish those lines. All right, so now put your adhesive here and fold over, okay? So now we've got an open top box. So we'll fold in the sides and put a little bit of adhesive there on the back tab first. It's funny how smoothly this is going now that I've made it like 
four dozen times trying to get it right on the video. Adhesive here on the front tab. And there we have the bottom of the box. All right. And my comments keep disappearing. Come on, FB, get it together. <laughs> Shannon says, I write stuff down, find it later, and don't know. And I'm assuming you, yeah, whoops, don't know what I was writing. Yes, the measurement's for. Same. Yes, I'm the same. That's why I got a measurement notebook. I have a notebook specifically for measurements. So it, they never leave the notebook ever. What I do is I write the measurements down on grid paper because I measure on grid and then I throw the grid paper away <laughs> before I write it in my notebook. I'm like, oh no. And then there I am digging through my recycle bin. All right, so this black box is exactly the same. All right, we're just gonna go through, snip, snip, do all the snipping, and then they will slide together. I thought it was so clever, and my husband was like, oh, well, yeah, you just make that one a little bit bigger. All right, well, okay, whatever. Now, adhere this, what is this? This is a brand new adhesive, and it is not behaving the way it should. My daughter is on her way home from college today. She's coming home for the weekend. It feels like she was just here, but it was Labor Day, so it's been it's been a while. And she's excited. She needs to get her car inspected. And she was like, where do I go? Just come home and do it. All right. I'm sure her daddy will love to take her to get her car inspected tomorrow. I mean, you know, so he can spend time with her. All right. Same way. Doing all the same things. Adhesive still behaving incorrectly. All right, now, so the black goes on the bottom, the black is smaller, and it just slides together like that. Now, these are the same size, right? And they are gonna go all the way up until we put our glasses in there. Here's some cat glasses. This was a bag um, of six of them for $3 from Target. It was not in the dollar section in the front, bullseye, bullseye playground, bullseye playground, whatever, you know, the dollar spot that they used to call it. It was back in the Halloween section. They have a bunch of party favors, you know, like little trick or treat things back there. And it was there. So it was um, six for $3. Now these aren't cat glasses, they're pumpkin glasses, but they, I mean, they could still work. But even at a dollar each, they're cute. All right, so we'll put these in here. And then I got some of these cute Hershey Kisses. These are monster Hershey Kisses. And they were like totally the right colors. Halloween, you know, purple, orange, and green. And then of course I bought the Dove Pumpkins, which I actually now need to throw away because I, I like them. And you know what happens when I like them. All right, and then it stops right there because the glasses are taller. All right, so there is your main box construction. Oh, behave. Now it's misbehaving. Come on, go back in. There we go. Okay, now when I did the clean recording, I forgot to put the paper, the designer series paper on it. So I'm gonna do that first. Okay, let's see which side's the front. This side is the front. We're gonna put that right there. This is the cute Halloween paper, cutest Halloween. And now we're gonna make all of the little decorations. See, here's my Halloween color scheme. We've got Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple, and pumpkin pie, of course. Now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do some, uh, I have a new little setup down here and everything keeps falling, so it's not working. If you hear a big crash, Hopefully it's not my computer this time. You'll know it's that. All my trimmers and plates and grid paper and all that. So this is a little piece of pumpkin pie. It's just, I think it's one and a fourth. Nope, one and a half by four, okay? And I'm just gonna put, I put a little bit of that adhesive there um, to hold it down. It'll peel right off. And then we'll use our post-it tape. Now, this actually, this part of the project sprung from another project that I, oh, look at that. <laughs> the mask is still dirty from this morning. Imagine that. Um, last weekend, I have been asked to be a guest designer on 
stamping through the catalog. Do you guys follow them on Instagram? They're one of my favorites. Um, and so you'll see my card coming up next week. Um, but this orange piece actually was left over from what I made for them. So you'll have to look. It's cute. It's Halloween, of course. I was very excited that they asked me during my favorite time of the year. Okay. So some pumpkin pie with my blending brush. Why can't I see comments? Um, Jody, I love stencils too. Right now we have three sets of stencils, so I feel pretty satisfied with that, but I agree, I will take more. And I like more like geometric patterns. Um, stripes, chevron, plaid, all of that. Those are the ones that I like, polka dots. All right, I put a little wink of Stella right here and I'm just gonna flick it all over so that those circles have a little bit of sparkle. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take that off and there we go. A little polka dot piece. If you need polka dot paper, just make your own. We, if we don't have it in the right color, just get your blending brushes and your stencil and make it yourself. Um, okay, let's see, we're gonna do our cat and then we'll put it all together. Now, you guys, this is a photo polymer stamp set, which means sometimes when you stamp these larger photopolymer, <laughs> um, my blocks are filthy. Can you guys see that? I try to clean them up before Facebook and look, I did not do it this week. And I noticed on something I did this morning that they're disgusting. So I need to give them a bath. I apologize for the nastiness of my blocks. I see some people stamping and their blocks are like pristine, like pristine like like they've never been used my blocks have been used and abused let me tell you they've got scratches they've got adhesive they've got everything all over them all right back to what i was saying so when you are doing a large photopolymer stamp sometimes there in the middle of the stamp you'll get like a bubble in the in the image doesn't stamp all the way so get a foam mat like this um i don't even know what this is from um, I use the, the foam mat that came in my Stamparatus a lot. Um, you can get fun foam from, you know, Hobby Lobby for like 10 cents. Um, you know, look around. There's lots of, sometimes you get freebies when you go to like events that have that foamy stuff on it. But if you put that under that, it like gives it the squishiness that it needs to fill in, um, the color everywhere. So now I've got, this feels dark. Nope, it's light. This is light Highland Heather. There is an image in the stamp set that is a fill-in um, stamp. So you can stamp the color right onto the, the box, you know, so it would be colored in. I didn't use it for two reasons, really. One, it's not exactly... Like, you know, it's kind of like a funky fill-in, like it's not exactly fill-in. What do you call that? It's kind of abstract. Um, but two, I like to do shading, right? I like to make it look a little more three-dimensional. So I'm using my Highland Heather Stamp Stampin' Blends, and I've added just a little bit of dark there under the flaps. And then, oh my gosh, I can't get the lid off. And then I'm just gonna take my light and blend it down in there. And that just, see, it just gives it a little, well, you guys can't see, it's really far, isn't it? It's just a little, I don't know, a little more fancy. Okay, so now we're ready to load it up, stack it up. Let me get my dimensionals. I hear a lawn mower somewhere, and hopefully they're not going to come mow the lawn right next door. Because you guys would for sure hear it. They're, they're, right outside my window is my front porch, and right at the edge of my front porch is their yard. We're in a cul-de-sac, so we're very close. Very, very close. All right, so stack all those up with dimensionals. There is um, a Highland Heather scallop circle, a gorgeous grape circle, and then a, a basic white circle. And let me just tell you the sizes. Two and a fourth is the white. Two and five eighths is the gorgeous grape. And about three is the scalloped circle. Or use what you have. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our box and I'm gonna put some dimensionals right here. Put that across right there. Kind of covers up the fact that there are two different boxes. It's like a little surprise. 
And then um, this is also left over from my project that I was making last weekend. Um, it is a granny apple green rick rack that I cut with the basic border dies. Did I put that in the supply list? Yeah, I did. Um, and I'm doing it kind of wonky, not totally perfect. And I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter. And then we're gonna get our silly cat and put him right here with some dimensionals like that. All right, and now last but not least, we gotta stamp that sentiment. And it's actually two different stamps that I have put together from the Clever Cats stamp set. We're gonna stamp it in Highland Heather. It says, hey, crazy cat, have a perfect Halloween. Funny, right? So I felt like if I was gonna use that, I needed some kind of cat something for the inside of my box. All right. Have you guys seen any cat Halloween things out in the stores? Any, you know, I always look to see what little Debbie's got. They've got brownies shaped as, as the, you know, bat, pumpkin, um, which we're using later on today, actually. But I couldn't find anything specifically with a cat. And surely a cat is a pretty standard. You know what? I need to do something. This, I put dimensionals right here, right? So, because there's a dimensional under the pumpkin pie, then there's a dimensional here. That means this part up here needs two dimensionals to reach the same height. So, I'm going to take two dimensionals, stack them, and put them right there. So, now he's not flopping around. Well, I put him a little bit too high. Come on. There we go. All right. So now, can you, I don't know if you guys can see all that, that dimension in there. <laughs> Dimensionals all day long. Don, do not disturb. Are you guys still there? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, are you guys there? I'm doing, now I'm doing all kinds of things. I did not put do not disturb. I still see me. Are you guys there? What happened? I forgot. And you know who's calling me? It said spam. <sighs> it paused for a second. Wow, usually it would like disconnect. So I'm glad it didn't disconnect. Man, I forgot to do. That's a good thing about your watch though. You can, oops, nope, this way, right? Look, you can do do not disturb on your watch. Pretty cool. All right, hey crazy cat, have a perfect Halloween, but wait, we're not done. How about some pearls? We're gonna use the cute stars on the other two projects, but for this one, I pulled out the pearls, the subtle, soft, subtle pearls, if I can get it picked up. There's one. Mac, are you gonna stand there all the whole time, buddy? I don't know what you want. There we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that a cute little box? I love it. I'm gonna do all different versions of this box, so just prepare yourself. All right, there we go. Hey, crazy cat, have a perfect Halloween. Okay, good, you guys are still there. Uh, sorry, if you got kicked out, it was probably my fault, because I got a phone call from a spammer, because I mean, who else calls me other than spam? Oh, and my mom. <laughs> mom calls me all the time. All right, good, you guys, you can see it. We're good, we're live, we're still here. All right, good. Whew. Okay. Um, <laughs> really, Pam, your dog just stands there? He has always done this, and he'll stand at the door and just stare at me for, no, for, for a long time. I think he thinks I'm gonna do some food or something. I mean, you think, I mean, I, he's, only motivated by food. So I'm pretty certain that's why he stands there. He doesn't care about anything else. Okay, next project. Speaking of little Debbie, we are gonna make a box for the pumpkin, brownie pumpkins. And this is the only one left because my girls love, love, love these. There are five in a box. 
and I have to have three of them. So I let them each have one. <laughs> they were mad, um, but they're really delicious. I actually haven't eaten these, but they look delicious. Anyway, Little Debbie, um, you there is a thing called a Little Debbie Snack Finder. I've linked it under today's photo, and you enter your zip code. You pick which... Um, cake or brownie or snack or whatever you're looking for and it'll tell you what stores in your area have them um i have seen them everywhere this year everywhere um every store i go to target walmart h-e-b um i think i saw them where was i somewhere else it was weird they had little debbie snacks anyway that's what we're gonna do i always get questions um about these brownies because they do these brownies you know they have like a back to school brownie it's a school bus they have a an Easter brownie. They have a Valentine's brownie. They're all the same size. So I made the box a long time ago and we just keep, you know, redecorating the same box. So if you like to give out these, just know that this box will fit them all season long. Okay, I went with pink because why not? This paper, the cutest Halloween paper has Flirty Flamingo in it. So, you know, if I have a chance to use Flirty Flamingo, I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. All right, let's see, where can I put my pieces? I gotta get situated, hold on just one second. Okay, now simply scored all the way over here. You're gonna need, ooh, I have my iPad covered up and that's freaking me out. <sighs> all right, just making sure nothing's happening. Um, Where are we, brownie bat box. Right here, <laughs> all the measurements, six by six. All right, so we're gonna score one side. They're the same, so it doesn't matter which side you start on. Um, three fourths of an inch. I make sure. I better make sure I'm looking at the right one. Two and three fourths, three and a half, five and a half. Turn it, and then three fourths, and five and a fourth. All right, now this box, is going to have an um, open top, not um, not the side. You can do this box so that it opens like that, um, but we're gonna do it with the open top because I wanna put that big bow at the top, of course. This ribbon that I'm using is not Flirty Flamingo, it's Blushing Bride, and it is in the holiday catalog, and it's cute. It was on, I believe, Unorderable for a while, but it came in and now it's on low inventory again. So if you like this pink ribbon, make sure you get it soon. Um, <laughs> Jill, your daughters ate all of them. They're, yeah, my kids are, I actually bought them another box this week when I went to the store. They apparently are really good. I'm still stuck on the pretzels from last week. Oh, I need to just, I need to get rid of them, but they're so good. So I treat myself to one. You know, like every four or five days. I'm like, oh, I've been good. I can have a pretzel. <laughs> oh, that's such a farce. Anyway, I cut off these two corners and I cut these at an angle. And then I'm just going to snip. This is the worst time of the year for me trying to eat good because of all the Halloween candy. You know, I saw somebody the other day say they hate Halloween hate what it stands for. Um, it's creepy, blah, blah, blah. And I had to take pause for a minute to think about that. And, you know, when I think of Halloween, that's not what I think about. I don't think about dark, creepy, spooky, evil. Do you guys? I mean, I think about pumpkins and candy <laughs> and fall leaves and the pumpkin patch and trick-or-treaters. So I just, I don't know. And like our cute Halloween, oh look, I have it right here because we're gonna use the sentiment. This is this is the Halloween that I like, right? Not the creepy, evil, dark Halloween. I think Halloween can be fun and cute without being evil and dark. I mean, you guys, you guys agree? All right, I'm putting adhesive right here and folding it over. She she said she was um, a Christian and that she. Felt like it was bad, you know, to like Halloween. And I thought, you know what? I'm a Christian too, but I am not liking Halloween because of evil things. I'm liking Halloween because it 
My kids get to dress up. We get to eat, you know, candy. We get to carve pumpkins. So I'm choosing to see it that way. I hope you guys do too. All right, while I'm chatting here, I'm doing this box just like the other box, okay? I'm doing it just the same way. Now, my original, um, <laughs> oh, Joe, do you like a spooky Halloween? See, I am not a spooky, I don't like scary movies. I don't like anything scary. Um, but I love Halloween, not as a spooky thing. Um, you're right, Cindy, someone will always have a different interpretation, but it made me have pause, you know, like, am I? I don't know. It just made me like reevaluate. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. I love when I was teaching, I loved it too, because it was, you know, cute pumpkins and cute little art activities. And I don't know, whatever. Anyway, you put your pumpkin brownie in here, close it up. Now we're not going to seal it because we don't want our recipient to have to rip it open. So my original design has the ribbon coming up under the, um, designer series paper but yesterday in the comedy of errors that was my video recording yesterday I did the ribbon totally different and didn't realize it so either way it's fine I think it's actually easier if you do it up the middle like this um, because doing it along the edge is a little um you have to you know hold it still and it's kind of hard to tie so I'm going to do it this way again also I like doing it this way because the paper is going to um, hold the ribbon down. So when the person opens the box, the ribbon will still be attached to the box. It won't like, you know, fall to the floor. And then they can reuse the box. Do you think people reuse our boxes that we give them? I don't know. It would be nice if they did. Okay, now, there we go. So we have a little bit of, again, the cutest Halloween paper. Cutest Halloween paper. It's called cute Halloween paper, right? I'm not just describing. I'm telling you the name. Cute Halloween paper. And then the stamp set is called cutest Halloween. All right. So I'm going to put that down. I did not put adhesive in the right places. So let's do that again. Put adhesive on either side. Right, so then you can squish in that ribbon like that and adhere it down flat to the box. Like that, if I can get it centered. All right? <laughs> okay, now, oh, Joan, don't you love that? She says, I have friends who keep everything I give them. I have a couple of customers I know do that too, and I love it. Um, I have to go back to what Catherine said. I love vintage Halloween images. Catherine, that would be it. Excellent stamp set. Vintage Halloween. I like that. I have a friend that has decorated her house in all like antique Halloween stuff. Yeah, she's amazing. She has all like antique -y Halloween decorations. Really cool. Okay. I'm talking. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. We are going to stamp. Uh oh. Where's my pumpkin? He's on the other tray. We're going to stamp the pumpkin in memento black on pumpkin pie remember when my kids were in elementary school i had to i had to be done by three o'clock because i had to go pick them up that seems like a really long time ago now one's in high school and the other one's in middle school it goes by so fast all right now the broom is cute 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 we're gonna stamp the this end of the broom in crumb cake okay see that and then we're gonna dip we're gonna ink the handle <laughs> you guys like when i talk well good um because that's what you get when you come to facebook friday <laughs> all right so anyway that was soft suede see how when you have a clear stamp you can like you know control where the ink goes and this one was really easy to to do half and half all right, there's the broom. Now, the cat, we got to use the mat again. And yes, I saw someone say a piercing mat. A piercing mat would work perfectly too if you have a piercing mat. Although it may not, it depends on how thick your piercing mat is. It might be a little bit too thick, but maybe not. This one is just a, like a quarter inch thick. All right, now this little kitty, 
he, look, he's got like a sassy attitude too. He is sitting, he's gonna be sitting on our pumpkin. Now we've got three things to fussy cut. I'm sorry to all my fussy cutting haters out there. Just get on board. We're gonna have to. <laughs> um, because you know I am always gonna be fussy cutting. Um, so here we go, round and round the cat. I'm gonna leave a white border around him. And those little whiskers, I'm just gonna go like that. I may come back and cut a V in between them. Don't you wish all the stamp sets had dies? Although that would make it just way more expensive, you know? Because the dies are what is really pricey. All right, around and around and around. I'm doing this real fast. I'm not doing a very good job. I just know that I talked too much today. Mac is still standing there. Why is he standing there? There we go. We've got the cat. He's going to be so happy. They love Ellie when she gets home. They are going to go ballistic. She is like their favorite person. All right, around and around. Update on the skunks, because I know some of you care. The others of you who don't care, I'm sorry. I'm still going to give you an update. There's been no skunk sightings at all. None. Since the last incident. Um, I think I told you guys how there was something under the shed last weekend when my husband was out of town. But it was not a skunk because it never sprayed. Um, so nothing. We've had no critters. I don't know what's happened. Maybe they got word that the gun was, <laughs> the pellet gun was loaded. Um, but this morning when I left the house, walked my daughter to the bus stop, the skunk had obviously been somewhere in the front. It was super strong. He had obviously sprayed something like within like just a few minutes. It, I mean, it was so strong. So he's still out there. He's just taunting us and the dogs. He's taunting us. Um, if he knows what's good for him, he's going to go find a new home. Because my husband has declared war with the skunk. I need to get my other ink. Okay, I put all the deterrents out too. May maybe that's why they haven't come. Hmm. But I haven't seen them on any of our cameras. Usually, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. All right, this one, this little saying is cute too. My tail says it's the twitching hour. A little pun, cute, right? I know. Um, <laughs> Angela says, even stuff with dyes, I sometimes still fussy cut. You know what's funny, Angela? Even that cute Halloween punch, I agree. Because sometimes it's just faster, right? To just cut it. And then instead of getting up, finding the dye, going over, ugh, lining up, I agree. I'm right there with you. I agree. All right, so I'm punching either end of this. I kind of stamped it off-centered, but that's okay. Um, that is, and I don't think I put the measurements of this on, so let me tell you what this one is. Oops, not centimeters. One by, I bet, three. One by three. Did I put it on there? No, I didn't. Okay, so now we're going to take this guy. We're going to do lots of dimensionals, of course. My tail says it's the twitching hour. These would be cute little treats if you have, you know, grandkids or neighbor kids who have cats. I think it would be really cute. And I'm not sure if I said this, but I stamped the pumpkin on pumpkin pie cardstock. That way you don't have to color it or anything. You just, you're done. So there's lots of ways to color in these stamps. The, the stamp set does come with a fill-in stamp. Does that make sense? What do you guys call those those stamps? Like this one right here, where you can stamp it. But see how it's it's a different shape, which is how it's designed. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be kind of that funky, you know, um, abstractish way. That way you don't have to worry about stamping it perfectly. So you could do that. You could color it with blends. You can stamp it on colored cardstock. There's lots of ways, just whichever you prefer. All right, now this cat sitting here on the pumpkin like he owns the place. He's 
got attitude written all over his face. We're going to put him right there. Okay, and last but not least, we are going to use those cute Halloween stars. This is one of the best embellishment, Halloween embellishments we've had. I love these. These are fantastic. They are purple, orange, and black. I mean, perfect colors, right? Sometimes our stuff's in weird color combos. I'm like, eh, I'd rather that have been. But this year, everything's perfect. Perfect colors. And there we go. Three brownies. Two-step stamp. Is that what you call it, Yvonne? The second step stamp. stamp? <laughs> the second step stamp. Uh, deform Maria. Is that what it's called? It looks better the way you did. Oh, well, good. You know, I just like clean lines. And so when it's that funky, weird, you know, like offset, it's just, I don't know. I prefer it the other way. Okay. So there we have it. The ribbon, remember, is not Flirty Flamingo, but boy, it sure does coordinate pretty well, doesn't it? I think it does. Okay. We've got one more project. You know what? I, did I say I was using this? I'm using it on the next project. I don't know why it's on this tray. All right, we need this. Let's see, what else do I need? Um, this one. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And we'll do this next one. Now, this project <laughs> almost was the death of me yesterday. Almost. Uh, my, my phone keeps shutting down when I'm filming videos. I tried the, um, the hard reset. Is it Lois that told me that sent me an email? Anyway, that did nothing. Um, and so I marched myself to the Verizon store yesterday, <laughs> ready to get a new phone. And of course, they didn't have any in stock, and he was having computer issues, and I came home with the same phone, so whatever. But this one yesterday, literally, the phone kept stopping like every minute and a half, minute and a half. And, oh, it was driving me crazy. I ended up refilming it all this morning. Um, but see how that slides off and these like open up? I call it a crisscross box. Um, but also those are kind of like bat wings. I don't know for Halloween. And inside are these Russell Stovers. This is a coconut nest. Um, they come in different flavors, uh, not coconut. They have like marshmallow, pumpkin, whatever. But anyway, they fit in there like that. And then this little belly band will just slide to cover it up. We've made this crisscross box before. Every time I go to put projects back together while you guys are watching me, I struggle. <laughs> Every time. It's like, it's going to be like stubborn, you know, like your kids when you take them somewhere. And they refuse to, to show whatever it was that you wanted them to show. Why is this not going back on here? Oh, come on. Come on. I know you fit. Whatever. 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 This one is still perfect. <laughs> I promise it fits. I don't know what it is. All right, let's make this one. Now, we, what I was going to say is that we have made a version of this box many times, um, a bigger version. I have a bigger version that I stick those 100-calorie Twix and um, Snickers and things you can get, like, at CVS and Walmart. Um, but this time I thought, let's make a tiny one, and that's what we're going to do, although the paper is not tiny. These stars are everywhere. All right, this is on the second page. By the way... When you get the PDF, there are links here for you telling you details on those things. You can click them on the PDF. Um, but anyway, here are the measurements for this one on the second page. We are going to use a six and a half by nine piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. We're gonna start with the long side and we're gonna score it at two and a half, three and a fourth, five and three fourths, and six and a half. And then turn it and score it at three and a fourth and four. Okay. Now, again, burnish. So next week's Facebook Friday, we are moving on from Halloween. Those of you who don't do any Halloween, you'll be glad to know we are moving on. Um, we're going to do uh, the gorgeous leaves. Is that what it's called? The new stamp set that has kind of those um, distressed looking leaves with the dies. Um, I've got a bunch of projects I've done um, with that set. So we're going to do that next week for those of you who were wondering. Okay, so here's what your piece looks like. Um, one section, they look, you know, when you first glance, it looks like these are the same, but they're not. 
This one is shorter. So down here on this shorter section, we are going to cut off, I have to, I have to think about what I'm doing. We're gonna cut off these two, okay? So completely cut those off. If I can cut, for, I cannot cut a straight line to save my life lately. All right, cut those off. And then do the same thing over here. Okay. Then I'm gonna switch scissors. Come in on these squares here. Snip and corners. Snip, oh, that was terrible, snip. <laughs> That was terrible. I hope you guys couldn't see that. I'm like cutting like a kindergartner. <sighs> okay, snip. Let's see if I can do it straight. I need to put my hands down so that they will be still. Snip, snip. <laughs> I obviously need to go back to kindergarten. All right. It looked like someone just pulled in my driveway. Hold on. Nope. They did not. They did not. Do you guys have Monday off? Is Monday a holiday where you live? It is, well, depending on what you call it, Columbus Day, Indigenous People Day, I don't know. It's that fall day we always got off from school. My younger two have the day off, but my oldest does not. All right, so we're gonna cut these from the top inside corner to the bottom corner, okay? So line this up in, I call this the ditch, Put that score line in the ditch where your blade will be and put that corner in the ditch. Close it and cut, okay? Flip it over, do the same thing to this side. You know, did I put, okay, yeah. Because you're gonna need, I was thinking I didn't put the measurements for the, the DSP, but I did. Now this is the Pattern Party Designer Series paper that I love so much. To get two that are this, you know, right and left, you're actually gonna have to cut two, two different pieces. And you'll see why in a second. We're gonna cut one from the left and one from the right, okay? Um, the, the good news is, though, is that when you cut two of them, you then have enough for two boxes. Because see, they actually are the same. It's weird, right? You Because I always think, now if you're doing something like cardstock or the paper's the same on the back, then it would be, you could use both of them. But these are actually the same. So that's why you have to have two pieces. Okay, which way did I go last time? Now I'm gonna do the left top corner to the bottom right corner, all right? Now, let's put these on before we start to assemble our box. So we've got these two sets. I will save one of these to send in a make and take kit next week for whoever wants a make and take kit. All right, a little bit of adhesive. We're gonna put these right here. Um, also, I was thinking that cute Halloween paper has black and white stripes. I don't know why I didn't use that paper. But anyway, you could use these stripes or that stripe. Um, this is Pattern Party, Party Pattern, Pattern Party, Designer Series Paper 2. And we're going to put that right there. Well, Mac, now you've come and sat in the bed, huh? You got tired of standing? Now, this, these pieces are going to fold in, and we're going to fold like that and adhere to these sides right here. So... The best thing to do is put adhesive on these flaps on the outside, okay? Fold in the little tabs first into the front section, okay? And then fold it up and press into the side. Now, guys, there are clean recordings of all three of these projects over on YouTube. So I know during Facebook Live, it's not zoomed in, you can't always see exactly, and then I talk about random things, and I may not say a detail, whatever. So if you come back and go over there on YouTube, and they're also linked on my blog as well under each photo. If you wanna come back and not have to go through the whole Facebook Friday, you can go and watch those. All right, and then it closes. Now you could adhere these closed, 
I kind of like leaving them open and then just you could put like a little piece of white cardstock here and just write you know love Erica or whatever um, because I think it's kind of fun just to have it open all right now belly band this is a strip of black and I don't think I put this on the list three-fourths by eight is what this one is I did not put that on the PDF sometimes I run out of room on that PDF depending on how many things I use. What is happening to this adhesive? Pretend like you guys just didn't see that. All right, we're gonna wrap it around. I, I matched corners and edges, and then I'm gonna adhere it to itself. All right, you see that? And then it just slides. All right, so there we go. Let's put our little, do you guys like coconut? I'm not a, I'm not a hater of coconut. I'm just not a lover of coconut either. But I do like chocolate. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried them. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And I like the black and orange striped paper, which we also, I'm going to show you this paper. Look, we also have that in that. That would be cute with it. I'm going to show you that project in a minute. Um, in that cute Halloween designer series paper stack. All right. You know, I keep using that pumpkin stamp and then I leave it on the other tray. Here we go. I like this jack-o-lantern. I really like this jack-o-lantern a lot. All right, we're gonna stamp this on basic white. This is a tag cut with the stitched so sweetly um, dies, okay? And then we're gonna get the little kitty. Let me show you, I almost didn't even notice it. See him right there? <laughs> Cause he's inside the pumpkin. So now if you wanna use your Stamparatus, oh, I see you a lot of, lot of coconut lovers, huh? Interesting. Usually I only hear people that say they hate coconut. Now this cat is gonna, we're gonna put him in the pumpkin. I'm gonna have to pull this way down here so I can see. And you'll notice my block is, nasty it needs to be cleaned so i can't really see what i'm doing so don't be like me make sure your blocks are clean okay the other thing you can do i'm going to pull this way down here the other thing you can do is use your stamparatus and i did it too high oh well i'll show you how we can fix it um use your stamparatus and then it'll be perfect right all right i'm gonna get let's see let's do He's like floating. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of my Stampin' Right marker and just extend him down just a little bit. There, there. Huh, look at that, I fixed it. Now you can't tell that his head was floating <laughs> above the jack-o'-lantern. There's always a way to fix things. Well, I wouldn't say always, but for the most part. All right, Stampin' Blends, I love coloring this pumpkin. I'm gonna use pumpkin pie light, and I'm gonna give it a nice little coating of pumpkin pie light. And then we're gonna come back in with pumpkin pie dark. And we're gonna put some shadow lines. Um, like that on the left side of each line. Okay, and then I'm also gonna put um, a dark line, like a, like around the the outline, basically, except for the top. I am making it so that it's like the light is coming down and it's lightest in the the little front section there. So I'm gonna blend all that dark up into the light, except for that middle section. I'm not gonna go over that again because I want it to be really light. All right, there we go. It's pretty cute, isn't it? I like that Jack Lantern. We need a good Jack Lantern stamp set with like four or five different shaped Jack Lanterns. I'll let them know. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna let them know, they don't care. They've got catalogs planned out way ahead and they're pretty smart. I actually, have seen a little bit of what's coming, but I can't tell. I'm bound to secrecy. All right, Treat Yourself is this stamp. Cutest Halloween is, is uh, the stamp set, which we used, no, we didn't use, what did we do last week? Frightfully Cute. 
um, but we did use this a little bit. So treat yourself. It's such a good set. Now I am going to, I think originally when I made this project like three weeks ago, um, I used the um, label die from the Frightfully Cute tags or Frightful tags, I think they're called, but they've been on back order. Oh, they may be back in stock now. Has anybody checked? Are the Frightful Tag dies back in stock? So anyway, I was trying to find something else we could use. So of course, my handy um, message die works. It's a little bit longer, but it works. It's totally fine. All right, let's adjust that, see if we can get it straight. Why can't the FB get the weird, glitchy Facebook Live commenting fixed? I don't understand. Because that's been happening. This weird glitch that shows me, like, it'll say somebody's name, let's say Susie Stamper. Susie Stamper is watching. And then it just keeps repeating that over and over and over and over again, all the way down. And it doesn't show me comments. They disappear, and then I have to tap on it every time to see comments. It's a glitch that's been happening for a very long time, and I wish that Mr. MZ would fix it. I, I'm using initials because I don't want them to take my video down because they are watching and listening. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're watching or listening me, but you never know. I gotta, you gotta watch your back around here. All right, so there we go. Treat yourself. Let's put this all together. Uh-oh. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had a hat. Where did it go? Where did the hat go? You know, I had to re-record this video, so maybe I didn't cut another one, but that's okay. Let's cut it real quick. Hold on, because that's the cutest part. Let me get it. Hold on. Hold, please. Where is my hat die? Oh, well, it was right here. Yep, here it is. All right, let me cut. I'm using this little hat. Do I have? Oh, yeah, let me show you guys what I have. I have this giant stack of scraps right here from my Halloween class. Look at this giant scrap of, a stack of scraps. I've got scraps. I can't, I can't throw these away. I have to use them. But that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I should challenge myself to make a project with just those scraps. And then that could be the make and takes for Facebook Friday. Nah, that sounds hard. Okay, I'm cutting the hat out. Hold on. I should have had this already cut for you guys. I don't know what happened if I had it. This is one of those I had to re-record. So maybe I used it. All right, back to where we were. Little, cute little hat we have to put on our sneaky little kitty cat that's popping out and I cannot find my Stampin' Dimensionals. Why are they all the way over here? Because I was looking for the hat, that's why. All right, right there, right there, put that. Dimensional, cute cat, so cute get regular dimensionals and I only have one left so I'm gonna put that there um yeah Catherine I keep thinking that to use them for my thank you tags I know that's a lot though and they're all like Halloween colors so I'm gonna have to be creative with that all right now we got to add a bow because we like to add bows to everything a little bit of black twine and we're gonna add a little star to his hat Okay, we're almost there, and it's 3.15. I don't know. I don't know why. I just talk so much. I can't get us under an hour at all anymore. I can't even get us close to an hour. Glue dots now come with the glue dots on the back of the paper, and it's driving me bananas. I know some of you have noticed, and it's driving me crazy, too. Okay, there we go. Whoa, nope, we got to have a star. Get those cute stars and put a star on the little witch hat. And there we go. See, that's not dark and spooky and creepy. It's cute. It's very cute. Halloween can be cute and fun. 
and innocent, I think. I mean, you've got a little cat and a pumpkin, and why will you not go back in your belly band? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, there, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, we made it. Now, wait, I have another project for you. Um, on Monday, I'll have a video. Um, look, the cat, he pops out with the lid. His, his little face is on the lid. It's really cute. And inside, let me show you what's inside. Well, I should leave this as a secret for next week. But I found these Kit Kats that are just, I've never seen them. Vanilla cream. Um, and they're orange. And I had to give them a taste test today just to make sure, you know, that they weren't poisoned or anything. And they were not. And they were delicious. So... <laughs> Zero self-control, zero. Okay, there we go. So be looking for that video on, well, I just messed that one up. Be looking for that video on Monday. Um, so now you'll have four Clever Cats projects, ideas. I didn't do a card. This stamp set could easily be done um, for non-Halloween things too. Um, you could, look, you could say have a perfect and then mask that off and stamp birthday, right? And then it's a birthday project. Wow, it looks so cute. I can see it on my screen. It's like I'm having a, a party and here are all the party favors. I should bring out last week's too. I have a bunch. Okay, you guys, thanks for staying with me today. <laughs> hey, Janie, I got your your package today. Thank you. Um, I just got it right before I went on. I just want to make sure you knew that I got it. Um, okay, you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back on Friday, next Friday with um, Gorgeous Leaves Projects. If you want these three make and takes, make sure you get your minimum $35 order in by Monday at midnight using this host code. Okay, have a wonderful weekend, guys. See you next week. Bye.